When trying to solve the traveling salesperson problem, we found that greedy algorithms often produce poor results. Part of the reason is that greedy choices lead to short-term gains, but may force expensive choices at the end. In the real world, you can't unmake a bad choice. In graph theory, and mathematics in general, you can. Suppose we've created a Hamilton circuit with an expensive edge like A, B. To eliminate it, we need to detour around it to a different edge. But to retain the Hamilton circuit, we need to get to B, then detour again to get back to A. This means we'd replace edges A, B, and D, E with detour edges B, E, and A, D. This would be worth doing if the weight of the old edges is greater than the weight of the new edges. For example, let's take the Hamilton circuit we got with our greedy algorithm. Since A, E is the expensive edge, let's see if we could detour around it. If we take the edge A, D, we can follow it to E. Then take BE to get back to our starting point. This gives us a Hamilton circuit of weight 24. And since the least possible weight of five edges is 21, this particular Hamilton circuit may be minimal. To make this into an algorithm, in other words, something we can get a computer to do faster, cheaper, and more accurately, let's formalize our process. Our original Hamilton circuit can be described by the vertices we pass through. Since we're assuming we have a complete graph, we'll have an edge between any two vertices. We want to find two edges, E1 and E2, where edges E1 prime and E2 prime, where E1 prime consists of the initial vertex of both, and E2 prime consists of the terminal vertex of both, and we want the weights of the original pair of edges to exceed the weights of the new pair of edges. And if that happens, we can swap the edges out. In practice, the edge weights may be presented as a table. For example, if our route includes Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Montreal, Atlanta, Chicago, and Detroit, the travel costs not the actual distance, but how much it costs to get from one place to another, might be summarized in a table looking like this. And let's start off by finding upper and lower bounds for a solution, and then let's see if we can find a good solution. There are seven cities, so we'll select the seven least expensive costs, which are... for total cost of... So 775 is a lower bound for the minimal weight Hamilton circuit. At the other hand, the seven most expensive costs are... for a total cost of... 4,150. So this is an upper bound for the minimal weight Hamilton circuit. So let's create an initial Hamilton circuit using a greedy algorithm. For no other reason than it's the first city on our table, we'll start in Boston. The least expensive city to get to is New York at 50. From New York, the least expensive city to get to is Philadelphia at 25. From Philadelphia, the least expensive city to get to is New York at 25, but we've already visited New York, so we look for the second least expensive city, which is Boston, but we've already been there too, so we go to Montreal. And while we're there, we might as well grab some poutine for the road. From Montreal, the least expensive cities to travel to are New York, Boston, and Detroit, 
but we've already visited New York and Boston, so we go to Detroit. From Detroit, we go to Chicago. From Chicago, we go to Atlanta. Then back to Boston, where we can get some wicked good chowder. So this Hamilton Circuit has a total cost of... $2,150. So can we lower the total cost? Now, since the Chicago-Atlanta edge is the most expensive, let's see if we can detour around it. So if we want to do this systematically, we can just look at previous edges and see what happens if we rework our network. So this Montreal-Detroit edge is a possibility. So from Chicago to Montreal is 300. And from Detroit to Atlanta is 300. So these two new edges would replace the 750 and 200 edges. And since the cost of those two edges is greater than the cost of the new edges, we should replace them. And notice that as we've done it, we've essentially crossed our edges. We'll uncross our edges. It's completely unnecessary, but it makes it easier to see what the possibilities are now, the Atlanta-Boston edge is the most expensive. So, let's consider Atlanta-Chicago and Boston-Detroit. If we use these, we'd replace edges costing 775 with edges costing 1250 But that's more, so we won't do it. How about Boston-Chicago and Atlanta-Montreal? This replaces a total cost 950 with a total cost 900, which reduces our total cost. So we'll replace and straighten. Montreal Atlanta is now the most expensive, so we'll check Atlanta Philadelphia and Montreal New York, which would replace cost 725 with cost 600, so we should do it. Now, Philadelphia, Atlanta is the costliest. While we could check New York, Philadelphia, and Montreal, Atlanta, that's what we just changed away from. So instead, we'll check Philadelphia, Boston, and Atlanta, New York, which replaces 500 with 450, so we should replace and untwist. New York, Atlanta is the costliest. And again, we can check the earlier edges, New York, Philadelphia, and Atlanta, Montreal, but we switched out of those. We could also check New York, Boston, and Atlanta, Philadelphia, but we just switched out of those. So we'll check New York, Chicago, and Atlanta, Boston. Since this replaces 550 with 725, we should replace it if we want to increase the cost. But since we don't, we'll leave it alone. This leaves Philadelphia, Montreal as the most expensive. We'll check Philadelphia, Chicago, and Montreal, Boston, which, again, costs more, as do other pairs we could try. Though we do find one more shortcut, giving us a Hamilton circuit with weight, 